Hey, welcome back to the channel. So for the past six months, I've been working on creating a Laravel course. I finally launched it this morning and it's 14 hours of you and I coding a social networking web app together. And along the way, we learn how to make sense of the framework's essential concepts. Now, instead of trying to list all of the technical topics that we cover in the course, in about 10 seconds from now, I'm just going to visually walk through the finished product web app that we build together in the course. So that way you can see what we cover and learn. But before we jump into that, I just want to let you know that in the description for this video, you can find a link to join the course at the best possible price. Having said that, let me show you what we're going to build in the course together step by step. So let me show you the homepage when you're a guest, when you haven't already registered for an account. So you visit the homepage and you can register or sign up for a brand new account. I won't bore you with that right now, but let me go ahead and use this form up here to log into my existing account. Okay, as soon as I log in, we see you have successfully logged in and the homepage is a feed with posts from the people you follow. All right, so that's similar to almost every social media site. Now, once I'm logged in, I can create a new post of my own. Let me zoom in a little bit here. You know, like new example post. And for the content, lorem ipsum, I can go ahead and create the new post. Cool, new post successfully created. I can edit one of my existing posts, like if I wanna add exclamations at the end. I can save those changes, cool. I can go back to the public URL for the post. I can delete a post if I want to, cool. From my own profile, if I click this link, I can manage my avatar. I don't wanna change my Brad user avatar, but here's a different window where I'm logged in as the Barks A Lot account. And imagine if I wanna change the user avatar photo for Barks A Lot. So I can just click on manage avatar and let me op just choose a different file. So maybe I wanna use this photo instead. So I can just click, you know, save. Cool, there's my new avatar. Let's look at a user's profile. So from a profile screen, there's three different links. Uh, this first one shows you all of the different blog posts they've created. And this tab shows, you know, the users that are following this user. This tab shows you who they are following. Okay, and then if we go back to the homepage, obviously that's just a feed of the latest posts from all of the users that you follow. In addition to that, we're also going to create a live search overlay. So if I click this search icon, and like maybe if I search for the word Brad, I'm only going to get relevant posts. You know, if I search for the word dog, cool. And you can click one of those links, beautiful. We're also going to create a live chat room feature. So for example, if I open up the chat in this window where I'm Barks a lot, and in this window where I'm Brad, I can open up the chat and I can say, hey, and we jump back to the Barks a lot screen, there you see the message you know, from Brad. This message can be like, hi, I am a dog. And if we jump back to the Brad screen, perfect. Let me go ahead and close the chat. We'll also learn how to create API endpoints. So the entire application exists within the context of a web browser. However, what if you want like native iOS apps or native Android apps to be able to interact with your app, your data? Well, check this out. We're going to use something like Postman or Insomnia REST to practice sending API requests. So we'll have one API endpoint where you can log in. That's going to give you a personal access token. And so that's going to work even in an environment that doesn't have cookies, right? So now you can use that token. For example, if I want to programmatically create a new blog post, I can use that token that proves I'm the Brad user. And you know, maybe I'll give it a title of like a new post from the API exclamation, three exclamations, and then like one, two, three, four, five. If I send that and then go back into the browser and view the Brad profile, there we see that brand new post, right? A new post from the API. Okay, now once you and I finish developing this app, we're also going to learn how to deploy it up onto the web. So the idea is when we're building it for the majority of the course, we're just building it on our local personal computer. So you and I will be the only ones in the world that can visit the website. However, at the end of the course, we're going to practice two different things. So first of all, we're going to practice learning how to use Docker, and we're just going to spin up an Ubuntu, you know, a typical Linux container, and we're almost going to treat it like it's a virtual machine. So I'll show you how to turn an empty Ubuntu server into an environment that can host a Laravel application. 
This is great for those of you that don't want to spend the $5 a month on a VPS to actually practice deploying a Laravel application, right? Because the idea is that with Docker, you can practice infinitely for free. You don't even have to spend a single penny. So if I visit this tab, just localhost, you can see this is running on Docker. So towards the end of the course, we're gonna learn how to set that up. Along the way, you'll learn a little bit about Linux. Not very much, this is not a course about Linux. This is indeed a course about Laravel. But I think it's really useful to learn a little bit about DevOps and how to set up your own web server environment. Okay, after the Docker practice, we'll set up a real website, you know, and I'll show you how I would set up a real live domain you know, a website that the entire public world can visit. So at the very end of the course, I just use a basic $5 a month VPS service. You can use any service you want to. I'm not going to officially endorse a certain service in this course. But the idea is we'll use any sort of VPS cloud service and I'll show you step by step how we can deploy our Laravel application up onto the real public web. And what's really cool is we'll learn how to turn our Linux box, our VPS, into our own Git server. So just like you would push your files to GitHub, you're just gonna be able to push your Laravel source code directly to your own server. It's gonna be super luxurious, it's a super smooth workflow. And that, my friends, is the entire course in a nutshell. Now, obviously, in the midst of the course, it's a lot more technical, right? We're learning about all of these different programming concepts like model view controller. We're learning database ideas. We're learning the PHP programming syntax, so on and so forth. So throughout the course, I try to make as few assumptions as possible. Now, really quick, before we end this video, I do wanna make it clear that in this course, we are not going to learn JavaScript. And the different features in the website that use JavaScript, like our live search and our chat room feature, right? This different user experiences. While we will learn how to set up the Laravel backend components, and I'll show you how to connect the dots between the backend and client side JavaScript, I want to make it clear we are not going to write the client side JavaScript line by line, right? This is not a course about JavaScript. We want to keep the focus 100% on Laravel. Anyways, to bring this video to a close, I just want to make it clear that my emphasis while designing the entirety of this course was to make it as accessible and digestible as possible. I really try to only ever introduce one or two new concepts at a time so we don't feel overwhelmed. Because trust me, I've learned from firsthand experience, Laravel is an amazing framework, but it covers so much ground that I feel like a lot of tutorials get overly ambitious and they'll introduce like 10 or 20 new concepts all at once and it just gets way too confusing and it makes you want to give up. Believe me, I've experienced that firsthand. Big picture, I want this course to feel like a friendly guided path for beginners. So if you're ready to start building this application, I would love to have you come along on this journey with me. In the description for this video, you'll find a super discounted link to join the course. I set up the coupon using the lowest price that it allowed me to select Udemy only lets instructors create three coupons per month and each coupon can only last for five days. So if you're interested in the course and you're watching this video just four or five days after I posted it, or if I've posted a refreshed coupon, I encourage you to grab it while you can get the deal. Anyways, thank you so much for watching until the end. I wish you all the best and take care.